Okay, first of all, fuck P90X. Try to do that shit for like five minutes. Wanted to kill myself. Not what the video is about. I wanted to do a video on why it's okay to have an opinion. And I had a whole thing planned out, but n now I realize there is a big, bigger issue I need to touch on. And that is why you should never get back with an ex. Why? Why do people do this? Why? I don't get it. I'm so confused. Help me. So I'm just going to go on a really unfunny rant tonight about why you and your ex should never get back together. First of all, like I said, there was a reason why you two broke up. And clearly it was a big reason because it ended your relationship. Usually reasons like that deserve a quick touch on, a quick look at, before you decide it's time to go ahead and start making the babies or whatever you plan on doing. The second thing is kind of just a me thing. like. My personal philosophy on life is that no matter how hard you try, a person is inherently who they are. They're never going to change, no matter how much you want them to. And I know you want them to. Not to say that actions can't change. Yes, definitely an action can change. That doesn't mean that they're a different person. If someone wants hard enough in themselves to stop self-harming or to stop doing heroin or to stop beating up random people in the parking lot, they're going to ask for that help and they're going to change that action. On the inside, they're still the same person. The same things that made them want to do heroin are still inside of them. Nothing changed that. If you were with someone who yelled at you because you left a paper plate on the, the table after you were done eating and they said you needed to pick that up, even if they stopped doing that, even if they let you keep all of your paper plates on the table, there's still that same person who got mad about it. It still bothers them. And now the difference is they're just going to hold it up inside. I think the definition of a relationship is two people who are together who don't want to change each other. And if you're with someone who at one point you wanted to change so badly that you had to leave each other, it's not going to be a healthy relationship. You are fine without them. You're going to be okay if they aren't in your life. Your life is going to be different without them, but that doesn't mean it's going to be worse. And yeah, I think that a lot of the time you can work out your problems, but sometimes that's not enough. Sometimes you need to not be with them. And I know that it sucks, and I know that being alone and being lonely sucks because Lots of people have loneliness issues, me included, and I get that. I know it's for a reason, because being alone is the worst fucking thing in the world. But you don't have to be alone. You don't have to be with that person to have people to be with. You have people who are supporting you everywhere, every day, in your life, and you just need to know that they're there. You need to understand yourself before you can be with someone. Just because you've been with someone for a long time, doesn't mean you can't be with anyone else or you can't be by yourself. You can be by yourself and be happy. You can be with other people and be happy. I know that it's shitty to break up with someone and I know it's shitty to never talk to them again. I know because I've done it. But you need to know why that person was making you unhappy. And you can't know that if you're still with that person. So I guess my advice is Try to be alone. Try to get to know other people. And most of all, try to understand that it's hard to be by yourself. But it's also going to be hard to be with someone who makes you miserable. Or at least made you miserable. And try to figure out you. You're worth more than this person who doesn't make you happy. We are never
together.